Today, we begin a brand new series for Seven Days to Die that I like to call, Where the Heck Can I Find That? Now, in this series, we are going to be discussing exactly where you can go to get specific components and resources that you will need to survive in this game. And we're gonna start with electrical parts. So, where the heck can I find electrical parts? Let's get to it. Seven Days to Die is a survival crafting game, and in order to craft up the items that you will need to survive, you first have to obtain resources. And sometimes these resources can be a little difficult to acquire, or maybe you just do not know which items will yield those resources. So today we're going to answer the question, where the heck can I find electrical parts? I will show you which items can be broken down for electrical parts, as well as which POIs you should hit up in order to get a whole boatload of electrical parts. But first, let me give you a basic answer to that question. The simple answer to this question is that electrical parts can be found in any item that would generally use electricity in order to run. So things like refrigerators, ovens, electrical lights, microwaves, a washer and dryer, electrical fuse boxes, air conditioners, then the list goes on and on and on. Pretty much any item that would take electricity in some form can be broken down for electrical parts. And yes, that does also include cars. However, with cars, you have a much better chance of obtaining electrical parts if the car is in either the stage two or stage three condition. Cars like this one here that are pretty much all the way broken down, they don't have seats in them anymore, have a very low chance to drop electrical parts. So when you're asking yourself the question, where the heck can I find electrical parts? Just think to yourself, does the item I'm about to break down require electricity in order to run? If the answer to that question is yes in real life, then more than likely you can find electrical parts in that item. So now that we have a basic understanding of which items will actually garner electrical parts, the next step is to find buildings and POIs that have these blocks in abundance. So which buildings do you want to hit up in order to gather a lot of electrical parts? Well, the first one you want to stop by is any POI that has a kitchen. Most kitchens in this game will have a lot of appliances. They will have the refrigerator, a stove, a microwave, coffee pots, the trash compactor, and a lot of electrical lights. By breaking down all of the appliances and light fixtures in a standard house POI, you can find yourself a ton of electrical parts. And since kitchens can yield a lot of electrical parts, one of the better POIs that you want to hit up is this guy right here, the trailer park. Every single one of these trailers has a kitchen and those kitchens are stock full of appliances that you can break down. Also on the outside of the trailers, you will find a lot of other things that yield electrical parts like washers and dryers, electrical fuse boxes, air conditioning units, and plenty of electrical lights as well. You can also find these little guys right here, these little green tubes. Believe it or not, breaking these down will yield electrical parts as well. Now keep in mind, in order to salvage these parts effectively, you need to use either a wrench, a ratchet, or what I'm using, an impact driver. Now let me show you just how many electrical parts I was able to pull out of this one trailer part. And keep in mind, I did not get everything. There were still items in here that I could have broken down for even more electrical parts. This was just my first pass through and we obtained 454 electrical parts just from this one little POI. And honestly, it's not a very dangerous POI. The only thing you have to worry about is that one of the trailers does have a dog. So be very careful about that. However, this place is pretty much a one-stop shop for electrical parts. Go through here and break down everything you can and you will be swimming in electrical parts. Another POI you wanna be on the lookout for is any of the industrial industrial POIs. And that's because they usually hold a lot of these guys. These little console stations right here. They will yield a tremendous amount of electrical parts. So as you see, I'm going through here and just breaking down these consoles alone. And at the very end, just breaking down the consoles in this one little room, I had a total of 184 electrical parts just from this one little room. Now, there 
There are industrial buildings out there that have these consoles everywhere. So when you're looking for electrical parts, be on the lookout for these industrial buildings that house the consoles. Now real quick, I did want to point out that another item that you should really be on the lookout for are broken down vending machines. These things will yield a crap ton of resources, including electrical parts. Now be very careful that the vending machine is actually broken down because if it is a working vending machine, the moment you take your wrench to that bad boy, you will be shocked and take a whole lot of damage. So make sure it's a broken down vending machine, but if it is, go ahead and use your wrench, ratchet, or impact driver to break that bad boy down, and you will get a whole bunch of resources, including the electrical parts. Another great set of POIs to hit up are actually the most dangerous ones in the game. The tier 5 POIs, like this shotgun messiah factory, or the apartment building of death, and any one of the major towers, like Higashi Pharmaceuticals, will yield more electrical parts than you will know what to do with. These places are absolutely chock full of appliances, electrical lights, consoles, and a bunch more items that will yield electrical parts. So if you have the ability to take on some of the bigger tier POIs, they are excellent sources of electrical parts. Now, if you're not quite ready to take on those big POIs or towers, we've already touched base on the trailer park. That is an excellent place for lower level characters to get electrical parts. Or you can come to one of my favorite POIs in Alpha 19, Mo power. This POI is a one-stop shop for not only electrical parts, but pretty much everything electronics. By looting this bad boy, you will come across a whole bunch of schematics that you can use to get your electricity system up and running. Plus, it is chocked full of these store shelves that have a ton of electrical parts that you can loot. Thankfully, this POI is not a very big POI, meaning it does not have very many zombie jerks for you to take care of, but but the number of resources that you can harvest from this one little POI is insane. As you can see here, by harvesting this Mo Power, I have almost 500 electrical parts just from this one tiny. EOI. So if you are looking to answer the question, where the heck can I find electrical parts? Look no further than Mo Power. Electrical parts are an essential crafting resource that you will need for a variety of recipes. So knowing exactly where the heck you can find electrical parts is important. The basic simple answer is that you can find electrical parts in anything that requires electricity to run. Things like kitchen appliances, air conditioning units, Units, electric lights, cars, and consoles are great sources of electrical parts. And in order to obtain these items in mass, it's best to look for POIs that contain a whole bunch of those block types. So things like the kitchens of houses, the trailer park POI, the industrial POIs, any of the factories, apartment buildings, or towers in the game, and my personal favorite, Mo Power, are excellent places to gather electric parts. Now, if you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to subscribe to Savin's World and give this video a like. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.